Hi everybody, I'm back with you on a very wild and woolly Liverpool. I'm starting this video right here on what's called Tom Steer's Way. Uh, Tom Steer is of course the Tom who is with me on quite a number of these videos. Um, it is so windy, I've no idea if you can hear me. Um, all I'm doing in this one, we're going to have a little wander around uh, the Dockland area uh, just to see what's here. So, <laughs> there's no point in me speaking. It's so windy. Look, he's even turned houses upside down. It's so windy, I can't put the phone down um, and I can't uh, really talk to you very much on here so I'm just hiding behind an ice cream van. And this building here interests me. Um, as you know, I like doing locations, um, specifically if I can't find Doctor Who locations. Uh, so this one is a long time ago. This was from Jodie Whittaker's Doctor Who uh, from the Flux series. And this is where we first meet. Um, What's his name? Bishop, John Bishop. <laughs> I've forgotten the name, sorry. Um, yeah, in that building and on the steps. I think we can get around to it. This is really very much just a look around. I am a tourist here. I don't know it very well, but it is amazing. By this lovely wall. Um, the sea is incredible. <laughs> if it is, I'm going to call it the sea. Um, very, very choppy. And after what happened two weeks ago, I'm very pleased I'm not on there today. Um, this is just an amazing place. It's like everywhere you look, you're seeing iconic buildings that you know or have heard of. Um, yeah, there's a lot of history here.
So with those Doctor Who episodes only being filmed a few years ago, it's quite easy to match some of these up. So this is outside Liverpool Museum. My photo and a screenshot from Flux. And John Bishop is on those stairs that we can see. There's also a great shot, of course, of the Sontaran ships behind the museum. But they're not there today. So this is certainly a place of statues celebrating the people of Liverpool. And perhaps the most famous four from Liverpool are just next to the Liverpool Museum. Even the Sontaran's got a photo with them. I'm of course talking about the Beatles. John, Paul, George, and Ringo. So perhaps understandably, queuing up for a picture with the statue of the Beatles is one of the most popular spots here. Um, then you look again and you see something just exciting everywhere you look. <laughs> I don't remember last time I've been so touristy. <laughs> so the three big buildings over to my left are obviously iconic buildings and images of Liverpool itself. Um, again, I'm sorry, I don't know the history, uh, but if anybody wants to fill me in on what these three buildings are, let me know. So having lunch at the Fab Four Cafe put me in the mood for some more Beatles. So I popped further into the city to the area called the Cavern Quarter. And if you're a fan of the Beatles, this is where you need to be, staying here at the Hard Day's Night Hotel. Okay, so before we finish our wander around Liverpool, we can't go without visiting uh, the Cavern Quarter uh, to really pay a look at the uh, Beatles. It's difficult to tell lots of people wandering about, uh, but yeah, everything in this area is basically Beatles. So the street we're on is called Matthew Street, and of course it's the location of the famous Cavern Club which played host to the Beatles in their early years many times. It's quite nice being in such an iconic location and a place of music history. This street also plays tribute to some of the other acts who may have started their careers here on this street in the clubs and bars at the time. Look at this sign for Eric's. Look at the acts that played here in their early days. You can even find Scylla on this street. absolutely right of course that this city commemorates the Fab Four. Uh, so let's not forget, it's easy to forget now so long on the Beatles put music on the map. So before we leave Liverpool uh, there is just behind me here another building from Doctor Who Flux and this is, I think, St George's Hall. So again, we'll line up a screenshot taken from the Doctor Who episode, which is roughly looking at it from here. You can tell it's definitely the same building. Um, I'm not going much closer than that. As you can see, there is currently a, a, a dance group on the steps. So uh, I'll leave it from here. But yeah, there is a shot taken from 
underneath those pillars as well. But yet again, another magnificent Liverpudlian building. There are so many here. And so many statues, of course, as we've mentioned. Even inside the train station, you find another Liverpudlian hero in Ken Dodd. As well as a former MP for Liverpool, Bessie Braddock. Okay guys, so I'm going to leave you here from Liverpool. Uh, we've managed to film three short videos today. Uh, two specific ones and then just a random walk around uh, the docks and the uh, uh, cavern quarter uh, very quickly. Um, the videos do not do justice to what is here at all. Liverpool is amazing and I could be here for a year and not cover it properly. Every building has a story, so many statues, so much architecture, so much musical history, history in general, but <laughs> that's going to have to be it for now. The other videos we filmed today, which you can find on the channel, are about the mysterious tomb of William Mackenzie and the burnt-out church of St Luke's. Okay, it's still with you. See you soon, guys. Take care.